All right, so in this video, we're going to clean up our sign in and sign up uh, feature. So if you go to our app, we don't have sign up and sign in button in our header. So let's first add that. And then if you go to sign up, there is no field for username. So we're going to add that as well. So let's go to the terminal and create a branch. All right, so let's first update our spec. User sign up spec, and we're gonna fill in username. Uh, example user. All right, let's run our spec. and it says unable to find field username so let's add that it's under app views device registrations new.html.erb and we're just going to take this copy that paste that in Change to text field. Take out this autofocus. All right, so now we added this field. Another thing we have to do is go to app controller application controller.rb and we have to add before action for our device controller. So let's write that under protected. I'm just going to take this all right so I'm just going to paste in some code so this permits username to be passed in to be mass assigned in our device sign up controller so let's go back to the terminal and then run that spec again and it passes. All right, so let's commit that. So if you go to our browser and then check, refresh the page, you have this username, but we don't have user sign in and sign up button in our header. So let's add that next. Go to the text editor and go to underscore h header dot html dot erb and if user is not signed in we're gonna add this li element link to sign in sign up and new user session path. Check that in our browser. All right, so if you click on that, it's gonna take us to our login page. All right, so what I wanna do next is to add some bootstrap styles to these forms. So let's go back to our editor and open up app views, device, sessions, new.html.erb. And we're going to add Bootstrap CSS styles. So to save us some time, I'm just going to paste in some code. Basically, I just added some Bootstrap CSS styles. And let's go back to, to our browser and check, refresh the page. And you can see that it's styled correctly with our Bootstrap. So let's do the same thing for our sign up form. Go to app. Use device registration new.html.erb. Paste in some code. 
Let's go back and check in our browser. All right, so let's commit that and make sure you didn't break anything. So there is an error message. Expect it to find. So let's go back and check that. So for some reason this is not working. So let's check to see if it works in our browser. Example user gmail password gmail.com alright so it seems to be working oh sorry I just changed this string to create an account so that's probably why just change it back to sign up All right, let's run our spec again. All right, so it's working. Cool, let's commit that. All right, so Next thing I want to do is when you when you log in, you see this username, but there is no way to sign out from our session. So let's add sign out button in our header when the user is signed in. So let's go back to our editor and under header.html.erb And for style reason, I'm just going to wrap this in our a tag. Sign out and destroy user session path. And method is delete. Let's check that in our browser. Sign out, and it's your sign out. All right, cool. That's working. Diff. All right, let's commit that. All right, so next thing I want to do is to add some styles or create a button class that has these uh, pill border and with border radius. So let's do that and let's just take this and see what it's like so let's do inspect and you can see that they are using border radius 999m all right so i don't know what that is so i'll just uh I'm just going to add some custom button class. So let's do this now. Assets, style sheets, application.css. All right. So I want to make some directories under this style sheet. So let's do that. Let's go back to our terminal. 
make directory app assets style sheets modules app assets style sheets pages style sheets partials all right so we're going to create a style sheet for buttons so app assets style sheets modules buttons actually it's underscore buttons dot scss and I'm just going to create button border one pixel solid padding 1m 1.5m and let's add that to our application.css so under here at import buttons and let's add that CSS to our links all right so right here class button class button all right so now it has border and padding so let's inspect that and let's add some all right so this is overwritten by bootstrap styles let's add important to that usually putting important is not a good practice but in this case it's okay to have this important flag so let's refresh the page all right so actually this padding is a little too much let's do 0.5m and 1m that looks right and let's add border radius 20 pixels looks good alright so let's add that to our button class refresh the page oh we forgot to add change this to 0.5m and this is going to be 1m refresh the page alright looks good alright so I want to add some margin around this buttons but I'm just gonna wait until later because we might add more things to our header in our nav bar so that's good for now so let's save this All right, so that's it for this video. And in the next screencast, I'm gonna add profile picture with carry wave gem.